what? Find one another. You can sit down. How do you draw? Be more comfortable. But I draw. It's very simple. Well, you started yesterday, but I started with the number three. Yeah. The thing is that there's two ways you can learn drawing. When you have a method, and it's easier to follow, like when you're doing animation, everything based on circles. I never study art, so I don't have a basis of art. So my drawing will be completely jazz on drawing. One day is one way, and the next day is the other way. Sometimes that's very conflicting because I think I don't have a style, and I'm afraid that people will recognize my drawings. Because if you see a cow drawn by cartoonists have certain style, like Wally Wood, you know he did that cow. If I draw a cow, you will never know I drew that cow because I don't draw a cow the same way every time. You can recognize blue because the character is easy to recognize. So it's very difficult. That's like I've never taught a class because I don't know how to teach a class. I don't, I don't believe in having to follow the same thing all the time. I believe in spontaneity and I believe in context. So but the thing I can show you is how I draw, which is very simple. Uh, and the thing you start is you start with a number three, and that becomes a note, a good note, two circles, a little dog, and the hair, stupid wonder, expression. What's important in a character, I think, is expression. And that's what makes it funny. If you have a character all the time with the same expression, you don't go no place. The advantage of blue is that you can have a lot of expression, you can get a big surprise, you, know? you can have that blue going like this. Uh, open the mouth. Well, then it gets very mad, you know, like. I'm going to ask him a question. <laughs> <laughs> and then he thinks a little and he thinks he knows dancing. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> and then he goes back. <laughs> And 
that Gro is such a stupid character that when he was by himself walking all the time to have a continuity of a comic book, I almost have to give him a thought balloon. But if I give him a thought balloon, I'm making him intelligent. So I needed a companion for Gro, so I didn't have to give him all these thought balloons all the time because that denotes intelligence. So I figured out, well, if I draw him a human being, he's going to be killed in the third issue, or maim, or, or he's going to be badly hurt, or drown, or take over the street, because Gru will become his servant automatically, being so stupid, he will become a second banana. So a dog was ideal. A dog will love anything. If you feed him, the dog loves no matter what you do. The dog has no conscience. You could be the worst criminal in the world and your dog will love you. So, a dog it was ideal for Gru. The fact that he got a, a dog, is, he thought it was good to have a dog around in case he gets hungry. He will always have food around, he doesn't get to hunt it. But through the issues, he developed a kind of love for an animal. So, while I was in the process of giving a companion, I went from all kinds of dogs, and it just happened that I looked at my dog, and there he was. <laughs> so I just drew my dog, and of all things, I had to choose a dog with polka dots. I could have to choose a draw a dog and simple to draw, and I, now I choose my dog and my food dog.